Hey guys, welcome to the Touchdown Table. I'm Ryan, that's Tyler, that's Jordan. And for today's video, we are going to answer the question about Dolphins quarterback Josh Rosen. Is he the long-term answer for Miami under center? Tyler's put some film together for us. Shout out to him for all the work he put in getting yeah, that together. Like 10 hours into it, thanks to yeah. him. He's not exaggerating. Yeah. So, let's dive right into the film and see, is Josh Rosen the answer for Miami? Yes, so here we go with the Josh Rosen film study. <clears throat> So we're going to start with his mobility. He is somewhat of a mobile player, so we're going to see it right now. On this first play, he's going to escape from the pocket here and rush and a little bit of dive. I don't know what that was, but it got a first down there. A great rush there for Josh Rosen. Now this play, this is just kind of ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> he's going to step up here and then start running backwards, and he's going to get sacked here. Uh, just really unnecessary. I don't know why he did that. And we're going to see this play again, actually. So as a quarterback... Um, this is just something you don't do. Now, it looks right there like he's going to throw it. But as a quarterback, you never just run backwards. That's just not what you do. If, you, if you're going to get sacked, get sacked more in the, um, up in the pocket. You don't run backwards and lose more yards. That's what he did. Well, this is a good play here. This is his first game against the Bears. Um, he takes a little bit of dodge there and gets the first down. That was a good moment uh, trying to win the game there. Josh Rosen was good on the pressure in that, in that situation right there. Now this one, he's going to roll out of the pocket. This is an amazing throw on the move. Point through his user. receiver, I'm sorry. He puts it low. A great catch there as well. I mean, just great mobility there for Josh Rosen. This one here, he's going to look at his receiver. But he's going to take off for a first down. He saw the lane and just got it. It was third and four, and he just got that play done. Good stuff there. Now this one, this is just, this, you know, it's just weird. Um, but he steps up here, kind of ducks, and then he, he just fumbles. I mean, that was just awful. I mean, we're going to see it again here uh, as it's picked up there by the Broncos defense. But we're going to see this play again here. He takes the snap, and he, he's looking to run. Um, he kind of steps up, looking to run. Didn't really know. He wasn't really aware at all. And he was holding that ball with only in one hand. And as soon as he got hit, you know, it just it came flying out. And it, was, it was just not very good. So that is mobility. Now we move to the awareness portion of our film study. Take a look here, second and long against the Chiefs. You know, he's hit as he throws, fumbles it. He really had no idea about the defender. He's lucky that the Cardinals ended up recovering this. He just had no idea. He didn't feel the pressure. He's got to have better awareness and anticipation. Now I move to a game against the Seahawks. You watch, again, he just doesn't really feel the pressure of the defense, results in a turnover. And now he, he throws, tries to throw a screen pass, but he does not see the defender. And even if he does see the defender, why would you make that throw? Because he's clearly right in front of your target. Bad decision-making by Rosen there. Now second and ten against the Broncos. Again, just the defender gets right in there. A lot of fumbling here in this session. That's something jo Josh Rosen could improve on if he wants to be the long-term answer for the Dolphins under center. Now you see here, third and down. Gets good protection for the most part, but he really just... Um, doesn't hold on to the balls. It looks like he was starting to throw there. And the Falcons did recover this. Third and two here. He does a good job scrambling and a nice job positioning himself to make the throw, but it wasn't really an, inac an accurate throw. Now first down, he fakes. Has a good line of vision there, and he scrambles up and gets the first down. This is just a good part. Um by Josh Rosen, but then he sort of stumbles a little bit. I don't know what happened there, but luckily, fumbles out of bounds, you keep the ball. <clears throat> and this one, oh boy, I don't know what happened here. Touchdown or safety, just, he didn't hold on to the ball. Now I see first down here, getting blown out against Denver, and you watch, he almost kind of ran into that defender. Something I noticed now when we went on the next section is the lob pass, something that he's pretty good at. So we're going to start here with a lob on the left side of the field. It's actually a pretty good pass. It does fall incomplete, but very solid, right where it had to be. Floated it perfectly into his hands. So it's going to be the same thing here, this time on the right side. Right into the receiver's hand. This is a good play for the defense there. And we're going to watch this one more time just to, so you guys can see how good of a throw it actually was. Right there, good play to the defender, but not a bad throw by Rosen. This one going to be over in the middle as he's getting hit. That's what you cannot do there. He just overthrows the receiver. That can never happen again, Josh Rosen. Please don't do that for the sake of the Dolphins. Now this one's just a little bit of a touch pass, lob pass right to the receiver. Larry Fitzgerald, I believe that is, and it just gets dropped. 
I mean, that it doesn't get much better than that. You gotta catch that Larry Fitzgerald. I know you're one of the best, but you can't do that. This one, another solid throw over the shoulder of his receiver. Perfect stuff there. We got one more. This one's not really a lob pass. It's just kind of it's over the receiver, so I considered it, but it's a solid throw to Larry Fitzgerald. There it is. And now we move on to arm strength of our Josh Rosen here. I don't know why I said R, but I did. So here we go. First play. It was showing a little bit of that mobility that I talked about before. He's going to roll in the pocket and throw a nice throw. It's a nice, very nice arm strength throw in the sideline there. Great throw there. Now here's one. It's just going to throw a long, long ball. His arm strength, you can see, but it kind of falls a little bit short of where it needed to go. So you can see a little bit more arm strength needed there. Um, so this one's a really good play. He's going to step up here. He's going to throw a laser down the field. I mean, this is a great catch there and great throw as well. Great arm strength to get that ball all the way down. Or could have zoomed in and see this powerful throw here. So he steps up, evades all the pressure, and just puts a nice throw up there. Now, it could have been a little better, but it was still a good play for the pressure that he had. You know, this ball, I, I love this play. He just zips this right in between his, like, zip right between those defenders. So great play there. Uh, here we go another, with another one. He's going to throw a great ball on the sideline to the defender. That's just an amazing ball. Very accurate, very nice arm strength, and nice bullet pass there. Um, so this one, he balls in between two defenders here. Another good good, uh, good play there. It's a hard throw to make, especially in the NFL with these great defenders. Uh, this one, he's going to throw the ball on the sideline route. Another good throw. He's good on the sideline from what we've been seeing so far with his arm strength. This one, he's going to throw over the middle for a completion. Another great um, bullet pass right in the middle between defenders. He's also pretty good at splitting defenders. Uh, so this one, he's going to get out of the pocket. He's just going to throw an amazing throw on the run. I mean, that that's a really hard throw to make. And it was, I mean, it was just a good throw. There's not much else to say. It's hard to throw on the run like that. We're going to zoom in on this one, put a little bit more into it. You see he's rolling out to his right. Great throw on the run. And he gets out of bounds there. Good stuff by Josh Rosen. And I don't see how that, that was good. That was good stuff. Good on strength. All right, here we go. Accuracy time. Accuracy is one of the most important traits that a quarterback needs to be successful. Let's see if Josh Rosen has it. And no, he doesn't have it there. Is it just really behind Larry Fitzgerald? And there were three Vikings defenders in the vicinity. I don't know really why you need to make that throw. And if you do make it, it has to be pretty much perfect. Now I see game against the Bears. You see the receiver's running an out route, and a key for the out route is you gotta lead your receiver because if it's thrown behind, there's normally a defender behind there, as clearly there was on that play. Now I see third down against San Francisco here. He steps up in the pocket nicely, rolls out, and really does a great job of positioning himself to make that throw successfully. Good job there scrambling and making the throw. Overall, good complete play there. Now it's a tie game against the Seahawks late, and really a beautiful throw there. Splits the defenders nicely. Hard to place the ball better than that. First down. Has solid protection and really just a beautiful throw. Splits a ton of defenders. We're going to watch this one again. Just look at how beautifully placed this ball is. He knows exactly where he needs to put the ball and he puts it there. Hard to place the ball better than that. That one, one of, my, one of the best plays in this film session, no doubt. Second and one, you see the play action here. Is able to fend off the pressure, but then just an inaccurate throw. He doesn't really uh, see the defender coming from behind and just... Not only inaccurate, but lack of awareness there. Now you see third down against San Francisco. Under pressure a little bit, but able to get the throw off. But just an inaccurate throw. If that's accurate, that might be six points. Here you see throw. That one, I think that just had a little too much on it as it's picked off by Derwin James. I'm not sure who he was trying to go for with that. That was just kind of those ones where you look at it and you're like, what was that? Now we're going to watch watch this one again. Really, like... Are you going for the guy in the back, Christian Kirk, or the receiver running the out route closest? Who knows? So now we move on to the mechanics. It's very important for a quarterback as well. This one, just an overthrow, gets intercepted by the Chiefs defender. You cannot be doing that as the quarterback. He does that all too often, and it's because of his mechanics. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So here we go. We're going to talk about it right now. Shoulders aren't squared. <laughs> just... An interception right to him, and we'll just watch him run back again. Because, you know, let's just give the Chiefs... They don't get interceptions very often, so we'll let him run back a little bit. All right, this is going to be another wild ball, I believe. Yes, I don't even know where that one was going. Everything was just very off on that throw. This one, though, a very good throw. A diamond in the end zone, and it's all because of the footwork here. You'll watch him, and right here. 
So he's going to slowly take back, takes his time, pressure his face, but he does not mess any of the up shoulders. A kill third pointed towards Barry Fitzgerald. Solid stuff there. Now this one, not as solid at all. So we're going to step back, throws, and just put poor placement there. You do not like to see that. They believe that's Darius Slay running it back to score the touchdown. I believe we're going to watch this one one more time after he's done celebrating for a little bit. And yes, we will. So we're going to zoom in on Rosen here. And you can just see the throws off his back foot. His back foot's off the ground. That causes the misthrow there. And yeah, we're not going to watch the whole thing again. This one, just miscommunication. Just thrown behind him. I think he was, thought he was running an out route. Josh Rosen thought he was running a slant. But either, that just kind of messed up his throwing motion. So it was not a very good throwing motion. But probably was just miscommunication there. Anyways, this one, an amazing throw on the corner route, perfectly placed. And we're going to watch it again. Steps back, turns his shoulders towards the outside, got him. Gets a little run after the catch there. Great stuff. Now we're back to not great again. This one, just an unnecessary throw. That could have been really bad. Luckily, did not get intercepted. And you can just see the feet movement here. It's just not steady, and then as he's getting pressured, he kind of just jumps up in the air a little bit. Ball falls incomplete, luckily for him. Now, this one, I don't know if he just didn't get enough on it or what, but it just didn't go to his receiver at all. Intercepted again. Not what you want to see there from your hopeful franchise quarterback for the Dolphins. We got one more time here. Let's watch it. It's going to be the last clip. Just, just not ready. Just keeping his shoulders straight. He's got to point him towards the receiver. You cannot be doing that. Causes the interception there. So that is going to be our film study for Josh Rosen. Um, a lot of good stuff and bad stuff there from Josh Rosen, like we saw. And now we're going to answer the question of can Josh Rosen be the future quarterback for the Dolphins? Or what did you say in the beginning? What was the exact question that you had? And basically the same thing is either a long-term solution or your center. So basically what you said. Yeah. So what do you guys think about that? Jordan, you want to start with you? Yeah, sure. I'll start. Um, so that was Josh Rosen's rookie season that we just watched all that film from. Um, so it's hard, to, it's hard to tell off of a rookie season where, you know, you're just getting to know an offense. You didn't start uh, the whole season. You're just kind of throwing. In, and the team around him was not playing very well. So there was a lot of aspects of the Cardinals last year that just really had to tell how good that Josh Rosen is. Um, but I do believe in Josh Rosen. I think that he, maybe not the long-term answer, I don't think he's going to bring, like, huge success to the Dolphins, but I think he's going to, you know, be able to put some numbers up, do some decent things for the Dolphins. He's going to at least make them compete in games and things like that. Uh, I think that he's going to improve. He knows the kind of pressure that's on him now. and you know, In the draft, he, he kind of just, like, came out and said how, he should have been drafted earlier, and he was going to show, like he was going to show that obviously from that, um, not obviously, but he did some a lot of those film that we just saw. He didn't show that he kind of messed it up there. Mm -hmm. So I think he knows this is his this is his chance. This is his opportunity. If this doesn't go well, then it might not be good for him in the future in the NFL. So he knows what's going to happen here. I think he's going to be able to improve uh, with in this new offense. Uh, he knows. Well, he did, he, he's in the competition right now with Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, uh, Josh Rosen, and Ryan Fitzpatrick battling out to start. So it's just very, you know, he's just ready. He's 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 got to be focused, and I think that's going to really help him. And it's going to be be a good season for Josh Rosen. All right. Well, I definitely agree with um, points that you're saying there. But really, I think that Josh Rosen happened has an opportunity to almost make something kind of bad that happened, being that first season in Arizona, and turn it into something really good. Because mm -hmm. you look. Yes, the Cardinals went 3-13, and 13, but honestly, like, I don't think that was really much of his fault at all. Like, if anything, I'd say he was one of the Cardinals' bright spots uh, last year, him and maybe Christian Kirk and a couple other guys. But, like, it, he was not the only reason they went 3-13, and 13, and I was a, I was not a fan of what the Cardinals did trading him and taking Kyler Murray, and I've made that clear in past videos, so we're mm -hmm. not going to get too much into that. But, you know... I just think that if he has the talent and the coaching, I think he could be a good quarterback in this league for a long time because he was taken 10th overall. Like, it's not like this kid is just some nobody. Like, he has a, a proven record of being good. He was good at UCLA. And really, 
I just don't think he was evaluated fairly by the Cardinals. And, you know, I just, I mean, just because your coach has a crush on Kyler Murray, I don't think it's fair <laughs> to just kind of, like, throw Rosen out the window. Because, obviously, I know with this film there was some good, some bad, and some ugly, but really, I just think he's got a good arm. I think he's a guy that could learn with experience. And, really, I think if he just has to play well enough these few years for the Dolphins to really buy into him, because obviously they like the guy. They give up a second-round pick for him, so it's not like... It's like the Dolphins clearly are willing to invest a lot into him, and I think they're going to give him a chance because, again, you traded for him, so you got to like him. And, you look, Ryan Fitzpatrick's a, a veteran, and he's probably only got a few more years left in the league, so it's not like he's going to be your franchise guy. So, really, I think it's it's in Rosen's hands right now. You know, you've, you've been in a tough situation, so um, now you just got to prove that you can be the guy. You have a f- almost like you almost have a chance to be a rookie again, in a sense. New coach, new system almost um fresh start so really it's it's in it's in that just in josh rosen's hands he's gonna have the chance to be that quarterback in miami for a long time if he plays well um i am going to have to heavily agree with what ryan was saying um i was very close to actually making this a josh rosen versus kyler murray video but i figured we haven't even seen kyler murray in the nfl yet so that's gonna be a video to come hopefully next year um that'll be a super fun video to make but i don't i don't think that Cardinals should have traded Josh Rosen. Um, we saw all the things he's done, and it was only his rookie season, as Jordan pointed out. There's a lot better to Josh Rosen. Now, we have not even got close to Josh Rosen's ceiling. Ryan said it as well. At UCLA, he was doing great things. He hasn't really translated well into the first year, but not a lot of rookies can come into the NFL and just light it up right away. We saw Baker Mayfield do it last year. I'm not ripping against Kyler Murray when I'm saying that they shouldn't have traded him away. I think Kyler Murray's going to be good. But I think there could be a chance where you say, oh, maybe we should have kept Josh Rosen because I do think that he's going to be able to be a long-term answer for the Dolphins. A lot of good, uh, some bad that can definitely be worked on. They don't have a defensive coach there in, in Miami, but that shouldn't be a problem for Josh Rosen. He has people around him. He'll be working behind Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's been doing this for a long time, so he's going to be a good mentor to him at the very least. He's probably not going to start week one. That's probably going to go to Ryan Fitzpatrick, and he'll do Fitzmagic things. But Josh Rosen is going to be waiting for his opportunity, and when he gets it, I really think he's going to take advantage of it. Anyone else have anything else to say about Josh Rosen? Um, I mean, I was going to want to chime in on something that you guys both kind of said. Uh, you said you disagreed with what the Cardinals did. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm, like, right in between. I think that, you know, I, like, we've all kind of said that we like Josh Rosen, but I also think this is kind of going off of Josh Rosen as one of the Cardinals just in general, but I'm going to say it anyways because it's the football channel. Um, I just think that Cliff, you said Cliff Kingsbury had a, a crush on Kyler Murray. He did. A man crush. And he does. I, and you kind of, he do. wasn't really into Josh Rosen that much. And I think if you're bringing in a new head coach, uh, trying to start, like, rebuild your franchise almost because, let's face it, they did not have a good season. I think you got to build them around the quarterback that you really like. And if Cliff Kingsbury didn't like Josh Rosen, then, I mean, it would not be an enjoyable season for him. It would just be really hard. So I think he, sh- he should have got the guy that he liked. And uh, So that's just my opinion on that. Yeah, I do think Kyler Murray is a better quarterback for Cliff Kingsbury's offense. But that's not saying who's the better quarterback, Josh Rosen or Kyler Murray. Anyways, we'll find out that later. Something to look forward to for the upcoming NFL season. We're so excited for it. I hope you guys are too. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below which quarterback or player we should do this for next. And we'll see you guys later. See you guys. Spend 10 hours in this video.